Hello everybody, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to Boulder's Gate 3 and our Human Paladin playthrough. We are picking up right where we left off. We are going to leave camp. Or we should actually do the rest, right? Let's do the rest. And then we'll leave camp. night is a mercy. Yet your eyes refuse to stay closed. Every time they flicker shut, the tadpole seems to twitch behind them. Dragons, gith, and the hells themselves have come after you. Yet it is this creature that lingers in your skull. Baldur's Gate feels almost like a dream, after everything that has happened to you. Yet it is a dream of hope. You may be countless miles away, but it isn't an impossible journey. You will see those gates again. That promise sinks deep into your heart as your eyes drift shut. Alright, let's get going. Where do we want to go? That is the question. I think we need to head this way. We have a little bit of unexplored territory north of the roadside cliffs. So maybe we teleport over there and start off that way. Let's see if maybe we can jump over the fire. I would rather not be lit on fire. There we go. Best be on my way. I like that all the other characters follow suit. That we don't have to manually jump everybody. It's packed too tight. I'll need a shovel. All right. Oh. Buried treasure. Open the bloody gate! Nobody gets in! Zevlor's orders! That pack of goblins will be on us any second! What's going on? Goblins are on our tail! Open the gates, Evlor, now! You let goblins hear? Where is the druid? Please! There's no time! By the nine hells! Open the gates! The blade and suffer its sting. All right, let's see. I've done this battle once in the stream, so I, I kind of want it to go a little bit better. What I realize is that these guys have the high ground. That's like incredibly bad for us. We we kind of need to deal with them right away. Uh, so yeah, let's let's think about doing that. Come right up here. Uh. 
we don't have advantage. We missed a back attack. Brilliant, brilliant. <laughs> it's a good way to start a battle, right? Missed the back attack. Some critical misses there on our NPC fellows. Uh, I, I feel like we're still gonna have a hard time unless we get all of the, all of our people up on this elevation. Uh, but we'll get him a little bit closer. Our flank, our smart. Let's put Shield of Faith on our rogue here. He's probably going to take a hit. Alright, that was actually lucky. It's only a 65% chance to hit that. Not quite close enough. It's like some XCOM percentages were missing with 80% chances. <laughs> Not great. I probably didn't really want to expose him up here, realistically. She has a status effect on her, which is making her kind of useless. And I, I don't know if it can be cleared. I don't know how to how to deal with that exactly. Hmm. Yeah, she's going to be... Let's bring her back down. I probably shouldn't have ran everybody up the hill. She's prone now. Yeah, I, it's things like that from like D&D &D rules that like I don't understand. And you'd think with tutorials on, you might get a little pop-up when you get something like Grease. Like, I, I understand that it's affecting their movement speed and their ability to stay upright, but what I don't understand is how one would clear it. Like, how would we clear the Grease? <laughs> Seems like kind of an important thing to know. Let's try a Divine Smite. 6 to 27 damage, 1 d8 plus 3, plus 2 d8 radiant damage. Uh, actually, we don't need that for 3 DPS. Let's save it. And we'll try a normal attack. 
perfect. He falls down. Of course he does. He's greased. It's like, so what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to just like let it wear out? It does it doesn't have anything about the status element on their character pane. He's probably gonna fall down too. Oh he didn't. Well, we lost Barth. Very nice. It looks like the grease ran out. Maybe it's just a number of turns and then it runs out. You could probably see that somewhere, I'm just not sure where we would have saw that at. Gloves of power, absolute bane on melee hit, possibly inflict a, a 1d4 penalty to the target's attack rolls. And a spiked shield. We've got some javelins and a morning star. We need to find us a two-handed weapon. That would be really nice. Uh, I don't know if we could take dude's gear or not. I don't really see why not. At the same time, I don't think we... Is this going to be stealing? I can't tell. Crimes. Oh no. <laughs> We've committed a crime. We'll, we'll stop at that. Yeah, we don't want to be committing crimes. Need something? Uh, no. Goblin scimitar. Children here, you fool! 
We was running for our lives. You led them straight to us, and you let them take the druid too? Unbelievable! All right, let's see. We, we can do the paladin answer. I like doing the class answers when we can. Unless there's another one that we really, really want to pick. And who the hell are you again? Show some respect. This man saved your pathetic life. Well, I didn't ask for any goddamn help. Please, you were begging me to open the gate. Anything to save yourself, you coward! The human's eye twitches. He's about to blow. This is interesting because in the stream we got to this point and it was the tiefling who was going to lose his cool. Wow, okay. Also, I, I feel like the big human body type, like, I don't feel like they framed the camera shots for the large human that we're using. Oftentimes, we just see, like, our shoulder. <laughs> Whereas I feel like we're supposed to be in this shot. It's a little weird sometimes with the camera. Uh, let's just try Intimidation to, knock, to back them both off. I don't want to attack either of them necessarily. Okay. We got it. Enough! Squabbling is pointless. The goblins have found us. At least we agree on that. More goblins could be on their way. I'm more worried about this parasite than a few I'm goblins. Back. We need, need a leave. healer. Forgive that display. Aradin's a blowhard, but that's no cause for me to join him. Thank you for your help out there. I'm Zevlor. Well met. I should warn you, visitors are no longer welcome in this grove. Whatever your business, I'd see to it quickly. The druids are forcing everyone out. This attack will only strengthen their resolve. Why are they forcing you out? There have been several attacks by different monsters. The druids blame us outsiders for drawing them here. Nobody's welcome anymore. They've started a ritual to cut the grove off from the world outside. We can't stay, but we'll be slaughtered if we leave. We're no fighters. Is there no way to convince the druids to stop the ritual? I've tried. Korga, their new first druid, won't even see me. You, though? I know it's not your business, but she owes you for saving this place. Perhaps you could persuade her for more time to prepare, if nothing else. Let's, let's be helpful and see what we can do. Really? We're messengers now. We'd owe you a great debt. If we're forced to leave now, we won't make it to the city. You'll find the druids at the heart of the grove. Please, make them see sense before more lives are lost. All right. I I'm assuming we don't want to steal all of their things. That would probably be rude. Uh, I do want to come back. There was a bridge back this way. And I want to check that out. We, we've aggroed somebody? I don't know what we've done. Uh, we've, we've aggroed something. And unfortunately... Oh, he's way up here. Okay. Alright, well... Sure. Leave no trace. He can't get anywhere. Yes, I hope he comes down to us. 
Oh yeah, he, he definitely <laughs> was fine coming down to us. Okay, so let's do Divine Smite. Can't, okay, here we go. All right, that, that was pretty nice. Let's see, what else do we have? We could, we could taunt. Alright, I think we got him. Talk to me. Unleash me. Very nice. And these things have stayed interesting. Another step forward. So what was this guy doing up here? He was he was eating a person. <laughs> Perfect. Disorders of the nerves and mind. Magic of the Weave. Scroll of Featherfall. These coins can power infernal engines. We're taking all of it. The guy's dead. I don't know how it can be stealing if he's dead. Peer through the telescope. Ooh, what's that? Squint at the distant object or focus the telescope. Barely. Nice. You see a dragon circling like a bird of prey, hunting. The telescope points to the left. The telescope points straight ahead. The telescope points to the right. You were here for those goblins. Picked one off yesterday myself. Shot her through the throat. Well, that should have killed her, but she kept gasping, clawing at the arrow. Hmm. Your first kill? That's what Zevlo said, too. I hope you're right. I want to help. I just didn't think it would feel like this. Hmm. Made it look so easy. The killing. I hope that most NPCs have a little bit of dialogue like that. I like that a lot. Open up. Not everyone subscribes to what is mine is yours, it seems. Well, we didn't take anything yet. More goblins. Glad you made it inside. That will be safe here for long, though. There will be more coming. Goblins hunt in packs. You could hold off a horde of goblins from this position. Maybe, but we're not fighters. If they broke through, it'd be a massacre. The sooner we leave for Baldur's Gate, the better. How far are we from the city? If the road was clear, a ten days walk, maybe? But while the goblins are out there, it might as well be the other side of the world. This hmm. keep happening. He was joking about octa soup just a moment. 
an hour. We dig a hole and be done with him? We... We could say a prayer. We should have time for that. Yeah. Yeah. That would be good. Have some respect. This really isn't Oops. the time Sorry. to talk. Sorry. about our lives, our futures. No, you just care about your stupid apprenticeship. Take that back, right now. Refugees, adventurers, no one in years and suddenly we're overwhelmed. Well met, and thank you for beating back those goblins. Most brave of you. Is there anything you need? Act fast if you do. The ritual will be complete before too long. Ah, uh, we're looking for a healer. I pray no goblin arrow has grazed you. Nettie could put you to rights. She should be with the others in the inner chambers. But I doubt she'll be taking on new patients. The grove will be locked down soon. So they're really locking down the grove. I know it's drastic, but more monsters seem to terrorize this region every day. What about the people here? We druids will be safe. As for those that took refuge here, well, may Sylvanus guard them as they continue their travels. You just said the region's overrun by monsters. They won't survive by themselves. As I said, it's a drastic measure. But the survival of the grove is paramount. There just aren't enough supplies to support everyone. Fair. What are you selling? Just some bits and bobs I no longer need. Okay, okay. Well, you have green items. It's like a little bit more than bits and bobs. We have a lot of stuff that we need to sell you. You have a limited amount of gold. Um, I feel like we can get rid of most things. Tell me there's an easy way to sell. Okay, double click. Please. I won't leave them behind. You're going to get us killed. And then what does he have that we want? Uncommon medium armor, balance, gain a plus one bonus to dexterity on saving throws and checks. Light armor. Here we go. Ring mail armor. 420 gold. Yeah. This okay. Is about your precious borders Great. I care about our lives. Our it's too bad he doesn't have a big no, two-handed weapon, so I, I think I might grab the, uh... Take that back. Right. Um... <laughs> I, I don't know exactly what's going on here. Okay, we, we got it. <laughs> that was a little bit weird. A little bit of a weird interaction. Alright, look at that. We are looking better already. We are broke, so there's that aspect of things. But I feel like that's fine. Gloves of missile snaring. You could intercept missiles. Oh, we can just snatch arrows out of the air. Sylvanus, guide your path. <laughs> Sylvanus, ooh. We don't even know these people! That doesn't matter! Oh, we're looking of good. course it does! You would choose strangers over us. All right, guys. That's not... Pals, 
We can't just leave. They're kin. I'll not gamble our lives, our futures, on people who are as good as dead. We must leave for Baldur's Gate at once. Can we all just take a moment, please? What's the point in blades and spells if we don't bloody use them? We should stay. These people aren't fighters. We can help. Or yell louder. That's fine too. <sighs> do we want them to stay? Yeah, I feel like they should stay and help. We'll do the paladin answer. Where the weak have need, the strong have a duty. Stay. Just like I was saying. I don't want all these lives on my conscience. We need to stay. Suck. Fine. We'll stay. If we survive, it'll make for a good story, I suppose. Thank you, Roland. That's going to have consequences. <laughs> I died. We should have left by now. Damnish. Instead, we're just sitting here, practically begging to be attacked. Staying is a mistake. You're doing the right thing. The tiefling need help. And what about us? There's every chance we've doomed ourselves by helping these people. We will end up fodder for some goblin's blade, all because Leah insists on helping every wounded fall we see. Our best chance to make it to Baldur's Gate is on our own. This place is lost. Why are you so eager to reach the city? You are looking at Laroican's newest apprentice. Yes, that Laroican. The greatest wizard in Baldur's Gate. Oh. I've heard that name before. A young man, yes? Lives in Ramazes Tower in the upper city. The very same. Word in Waterdeep has it he's a bit of a cad. But you <laughs> say he's an accomplished wizard? Of course he is. The greatest spellcaster along the Sword Coast. As if I'd settle for a lesser mentor. In that case, I'd very much appreciate it if you could arrange an introduction, should we reach the city. Let's see, let's do Beldurian. I've heard stories about Laroa Khan, not all of them good. Common gossip. The byproducts of ignorance and jealousy. I've admired Laroa Khan for years. Never dreamed he'd answer my letter. But I've worked myself to the bone for this. Few can match me in either magic or talent. The names Roland and Laroakin will be known far and wide. You'll see. I doubt it. Again. Swing. Oh. Uh. Right. Uh. Go for the heart. Next time the goblins come, I'll be ready. This is boring. We should train against real goblins. Go on. Give me a best shot. Uh, <laughs> Not bad. Again. Do it. I'm not like you. Umi, I don't need you to be like me. You just have to buy enough time to run. Come on. I believe in you. You can do this. It's good advice, child. You do well to listen. Hmm. You're on the right path, Umi. Go on now. Practice what you've learned. Well met. The Blade of Frontiers at your... The man's smile bends downward, and his thoughts become yours. You are the Blade of Frontiers racing through the wastes of Avernus. Just ahead, a diabolical figure, red skin, single curled horn, blazes with flame, bloodied great axe hell. <sighs> Hell's great fires. You are on the ship.
who was that woman, the one in your thoughts? That seems kind of intrusive. <laughs> let's let's just go with the parasite bit. Mm. Doomed to shed our skin and become a lithid, or so the stories go. But we haven't sprouted any tentacles. Not yet, anyway. Could just be good luck. I'm not so... Your minds collide once more. Will chases the fiend ignited with rancor. She is an infernal war devil. A threat to the living. Evil incarnate. Shit! You saw her. Advocatus Diaboli. Advocatus Diaboli. A devil's advocate. A champion in the blood war between diabolical forces and demons. Who is she? Her name is Karlak. An archdevil soldier I swore on my good eye to kill. I tracked her through the hells to the Mind Flayer ship, but the damned Elithids infected me before I could end her. She's out there hmm. now, preying on the innocent. I don't kill her. She'll leave behind nothing but a trail of corpses. Let's join forces. I'll help you cast this devil back into the hells. An excellent suggestion, but your party's full up. Still, when the time comes, call for the blade. I won't be long to answer. A splendid plan. We'll talk more there. So when your party's full, you send people to your camp, and I'm assuming we can switch members then. Yeah, like right now, early on, like I don't know who I want to use. All the characters are really cool. I, I want to use all of them. But obviously we're going to have to make some choices. I, I think Will is a warlock, right? Oh, let's check out our spells. What do we want to grab? Magic missiles, always a, a classic. And maybe we grab some poison. I saw you at the gates. You fight well. A few words for the kids. Spare a story or two. Definitely. Be strong and watch over your kin. In trust, there is victory. I prefer when they smile. Step, Harry, strike, damn it! It's just not landing. Nothing but. Goblins in the wild, out for blood, and the druids in here looking to kick us out. Or worse. We need to be ready for a fight. But I'm useless with a sword. Hmm. Let's maybe we could try insight. No wonder you're struggling. You're, you've no balance. Space your feet further apart. Nice. I'll I'll try and brace them better, um, like so. Step, brace, parry, swing. Yes. You really know what you're doing. Uh, found this by the road. Bet you'll put it to good use. Oh, some loot. Uh, let's see. Keep training in time. You'll make short work of any goblins. Or don't shout your moves out like that. I, I'm sure he's not going to shout his moves out like that when he's fighting. Hopefully it's just the goblins we have to worry about. The druids are treating us like vermin. But I'll keep at it. Thank you. Battle Axe. 4 to 13. It looks like we just got an upgrade. Nice. So it, it's really worth it to talk to everybody. Not only because we can get loot, but like honestly, all, everybody we've talked to has been really well voice acted. I've appreciated their little dialogues and stories. I don't think we can get in here. That's locked. Uh, let's see. Let's talk to you. 
Goblins, druids. This grove is a death trap. Grab what you can and get out. That's my advice. Even your cages are Damn, druids. The Blade of Frontiers. Let's hope Will lives up to his name. Oh, she knows we'll him. We'll need all the help we can get. How long do you think we've got before the goblins come? How long until Roland shows off his thunder wave? Thanks for fighting off those goblins. If you need to replace any gear, just ask. My selection is pretty slim. I had to leave most of my equipment in El Terrell. Oh, he has gear too. Short sword, great sword. He's got a great sword. Suddenly, I, I'm regretting uh, blowing all of our money. <laughs> uh, we don't really have a lot that we can sell at this point. We can get rid of the war hammer. A torch, maybe. We probably don't need a bone or a skull. The books I should probably be at least reading a little bit of. The hat can probably go. I'd die if I met the road and reeking of this place. I'll never get the smell out of my clothes. I'll have to burn them. 178. Yeah, we're not quite there. Of sorts. Used to be a bread and butter tinsmith before El Torel fell into Avernus. These days my talents are more... eclectic. Learned a lot in my time in the Hells. Hope to forget most of it. But, between you and me, there's nothing in all the realms like the utter power of infernal machinery. Alas, my offerings are far more humble these days. I miss my forge. Don't be grumpy, Roland. We'll get to the city soon. I am not grumpy. Scowl on your face before I can try. You're an idiot. <laughs> We're exposed now. If it ain't the fearless goblin slayer, you sure you want to be seen with me? I ain't exactly popular with this lot. I mean, you stood up for your crew, that's fine. Um, let's see. Here we go, Paladin. You might be if you demonstrated more honor in your dealings. Please. A good sword will get you farther than honor any day. What do you want, anyway? I ain't local. I know... knew the fella in charge. But barely said two words to the devil's swarm in his place. And whose home is this exactly? Druids. And they ain't the friendly type. The only one of them worth a damn was the leader. And he ain't here anymore. Any idea where he is? Aye. His name's Halsin. And if he's still alive, he'll be cursing the day he laid eyes on me. We've got a contract. To track down some relic. And he wanted in on the job. Eyes lit up when he heard about it. Didn't work out though. Goblins got him when we were turning tail. He's either digging latrines or boiling in a cook pot by now. Can we have a look at the contract? <laughs> Job's all yours. If you got a death wish. Nice. There's a wizard in Baldur's Gate that'll pay goblins for a relic supposedly buried round these parts. But gold ain't any use if you're too cold to spend it. Any idea where it's actually at? If I knew that... I wouldn't be back here, with half my crew gone. But look, if you're itching to meet Kellenvor, I won't stop you. It's called the Night Song. It's supposed to be hidden under the temple where the goblins jumped us. I'd give you the map and wish you a happy funeral, but my mate Brian kept hold of it like his own todger. Goblins made sure to the fat old chunk. All I've got's the contract. It'll show you where we turn back, if you feel like dying. Thanks. <laughs> Don't thank me. I'll be well on my way to Boulder's Gate when you die. 
I don't think that guy's gonna last though. <laughs> Just a feeling I have. I ain't leaving town for a good while after this. And we'll have a dog, right? They don't allow them in Baldur's Gate. Cats, though. A little orange cat. And a house with a little door so that it can come and go as it pleases. And a high fence to keep eavesdroppers out. I'm sorry. Thanks. I suppose we'll all need it. What about you? Big plans for when you get to the city? We just want to survive. Luck's been on our side this far. No reason to think it'll run out now. Optimism, my friend. Try it out. Kind of worried all these people are going to get killed. Shoot me. Your hands are shaking. Put it down. She can't fight back. That's the point. Get out of the way. She didn't kill your brother, Arca. You're better than this. Shoot before you lose your nerve, Tieflin. If you ever had it to begin with. <laughs> the paladin choice is kind of extreme. This goblin is in need of judgment. I should decide her fate. Um, hmm. I want to see what happens if we just do nothing. Doesn't even matter if you kill me. I'm chosen by the absolute I am. I'm blessed. Here it comes, you little beast. Oh, she did it. Oh, damn. <laughs> Uh, maybe we should have intervened. Well, uh, it's not our place. It's not our place to intervene, I don't think. No one's inside of that one. Alright, let's go. Water. My dagger. We're working, remember? Please, last through. Let my daughter go right now! She's a thief, Hellspawn! And you will wait for Corga's judgment. Now get back! Oh, let me through, Radrashem, or I'll rip your damn throat out! <gasps> Well, that turned the tide quickly. Do lives are at stake, and the cowards only care about their bloody rituals. We could help each other, fight the goblins together. Instead, these fools are trying to chase us away. Those dirt kissers would let us die for the sake of their bloody grove. Come, Magrin, give him a chance. You, get back. Uh, if it weren't for us, you'd be over my goblins by now. I'll go where I please. Keep back. Force my hand and I'll show you its claws. Hmm. A moment, Giona. What? Oh. I understand. You. Apparently Korga wants to see you. Well, go look ahead. at that. Speak. 
Thought we're looking for a healer. Find Nettie in her room. Through the carved door, deeper in the grove. The what were you saying to the bird? She needs to know. You do not. Oh. Let's persuade her to talk. I... Forgive me. It is not you I fear. It is my brethren. More follow Korga every day. They are afraid and she offers a simple solution. Eject the refugees and we will be safe. And she's wrong? Perhaps not. But that does not make it right. Only Master Hulsin can stop this. I pray my bird returns with news of him. If not, I fear for my people. Shouldn't the ritual protect the grove? You're not helping the others prepare it. The ritual is Corgus' decision. But she is not our leader. Master Halson welcomed the refugees in. I wait for him to resolve this. So not all the druids are on board with sealing off the grove. It's this person's idea who was not even the leader but was kind of left behind in charge once the leader dude vanished. The leader went off with the humans <clears throat> to get the, uh, whatever that artifact was. And so the leader of the druids is either dead in a cook pot, like the guy said, or digging the trains. Ah, my good friend! You were at the gates just now, no? When the goblins came? You saw them up close? A few questions, if you please. There's no overstating my interest. Glory. Now then, how would you describe that particular batch of goblins? Size, nature, distinguishing qualities? You search your mind, but remember nothing useful about goblin social uh, order we failed the history check. Goblins were of a rare gem-colored hue and wielded magic blowguns. And the dragon they had marching in the rear, was it of the brass or silver variety? Um, did we see a dragon? Witnesses failed. We saw the dragon in the telescope. The but it, it was like red. Dragon. Last question, then you'll be quite free. Did the attackers rally to the absolute when they fell upon the gates? Really? Well, this does complicate things. But then again, well, never mind. I've interrogated one. A captive in this very camp. She reports they've abandoned their god, Maglaviet, in favor of someone called the Absolute. The scandal! Ah, but is superstition all? These goblins are informed by a kind of strategy anathema to their kind. I, for one, intend to get to the bottom of it. I'm just preparing to head to their camp as we speak, in fact. If you'll excuse me, I ought not to dawdle. Well, be careful. Goblins aren't known for mercy. Never you mind. Who needs mercy when you've a quick tongue, hmm? And an invisibility potion stashed in your back pocket. Until we meet again. My grizzled friend. What can you tell me about this place? Yes, yes, I see. And is that her with two hours of one? Just keep your hands to yourself. You're being watched. I'm 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry! Please! I'm sorry. This is madness, Korga. She's just a... A what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. Oh, we're not going to allow that. What's her actual crime? Girl. You mean parasite. She eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Tila is restless. Come, Koga. We took back the idol. Surely... Do it. Let's go with Paladin here. Maybe we can get her off the hook. Very well. I'll defer to your ruling. My circle has offered grace to these outsiders. We gave them shelter from storm. We nourished their bellies. In return, these devils lured in a horde of goblins. And their spawn stole the one relic that might keep us safe. We've taken back our relic. But I will keep the fiend caged till our protection rite is complete. I... I was scared. They said when the rite was over we'd have to leave. But there's goblins out there and worse. And it's nice here. So I... I took the idol. I thought maybe then we could stay. Please let me go. I'll be good, I swear. Well, Paladin, what say you? Yeah, we need to return her to her family. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Submissive. Tila, to me. Out, thief. My grace has its limits. <sighs> it hurts. Thank you, Korga. Master Holsen would- Halsen isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Tila pierce it. We've got some companions that want to uh, have a little chat with us. Let's talk to Gale first. Tiring business, isn't it? All this traveling and adventuring. Why don't we take a little break, hmm? Allow ourselves a few moments of rest? Gives me a chance to talk to you about something, well, rather important. All right, go ahead. We've been on the road together for a while now. A little bit. We? Hmm? Survived some perils, overcame some obstacles. Ever since you were kind enough to free me from that stone, I've seen you demonstrate remarkable guile and courage. The way you diffused the tension between Zevlor and Aradin, the way you got Korga to release the girl. In short, I've grown to trust you. The reason I make a point of saying this is that I've grown confident enough to tell you something I've yet to tell another living soul, except for my cat. You see, I have this condition, very different from the parasite we share, but just as deadly. Well. What kind of condition? The specifics are rather personal, but suffice it to say that it is a malady I've learned to live with, though not without some effort. What it comes down to is this. Every so often, I need to get my hands on a powerful magical item and absorb the weave inside. Your illness causes you to consume raw magic? I can say no more on the matter. Not now, anyway. Just trust me when I say it's all of vital importance. It's been days since I last consumed an artifact, and before we were abducted. It's only a matter of time before my craving returns. That is why I turn to you. I need you to help me find oh. magic items to consume. It is vital. Dare I say it? Critical. 
Where do you suggest we find these artifacts? We've already done the finding. In fact, you have one in your possession. You Ooh. know for yourself how hard won such an item was, and it will be no easier when even more are required to assuage my hunger. There'll be danger involved, or great cost. All right, I think for now, we're going to help him. Splendid. I don't like that he seems Bit to be addicted to magic. It reminds well. me of the Blood Elves in WoW. I'm sure we won't have to look very far to find what I need. Faerun overflows with magic-infused treasure. As do our packs, as a matter of fact. We have such an item already in our possession. Primed for the moment the need arises. I hope I can count on you. I know that look. You're wondering why I was in pain before. Let's just clear the air about that now. It's just an old wound that hurts me from time to time. Nothing to be concerned about. It's nothing to do with the tadpoles, at least, in case your imagination is in danger of getting away from you. All right. It's just something I have to live with. All these characters have their little secrets. Quite a lot if I'm being honest. But it always passes quickly, so I can manage. And you're sure it's not tadpole related? Positive. You can trust me on that. Fine. What's on your mind? I must admit, you've been a surprise. And not an unpleasant one. Kindred spirits are few and far between for me. Besides, you saved my life aboard the Nautiloid. How can I do anything but sing your praises? Must I? Thinking about it won't help. We know what to do, so let's do it. Find a way to rid ourselves of these things. Personally, I think finding this Halsin is our best bet. Alright, guys, I think this is going to be a good spot to take a break. I think we're about to get into some big plot stuff here. Possibly tracking down the actual leader of the druids that might tie a couple of other hands. stories together. Right so yeah, to let's let's take a break here. I have so been having a really want. good time with this. The now in this one, we didn't do a lot of combat. There have been a lot of conversations we've had to navigate though. Behind. And I kind of like that. I, I like navigating the conversations, you know, as if they are encounters. Using our palette and perception and things like that has been really enjoyable. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. I would love to hear from you. Uh, let's save here. There we go. And yeah, let me know what you guys think. And until next time, take care of yourselves out there in the real world. And take care of each other. And we will see you back here again very soon. Bye for now.